Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Happy Friday. It is September 22nd. Before we dive into your news and weather headlines this Friday morning, I want to let you know that you can always find this on your Facebook feed. We go live about 8 o'clock in the morning every day, Monday through Friday. And then you can find us later in the day on your Facebook feed. The video stays up there for you to view. You can also find us on our Inform YouTube channel as well and on your favorite podcast platform. Just go to inform.com slash podcast to take advantage of that and look for the Inform Minute. All right, Jared's in today. And of mm -hmm. course, we know we're very dry. We need the rain. And it has started in different spots already, and more is on the way. So can yeah. you kind of break that down? Yeah, we had some rain yesterday. I saw some places got over an inch of rain. Those mm -hmm. of you who may be watching are like, yeah, it rained in my area. Well, the rest of us were like, well, it was just a really nice day. It, yeah. it mm -hmm. like 80 here in Fargo. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Not much wind. But um, today there's some showers out there and some areas of rain, mainly up in the northern tier of the valley, mm -hmm. northern Minnesota right now. As we head throughout the day, I am thinking that there will be some showers just kind of scattered here and there. But it won't be much. The big system arrives tomorrow and slowly okay. moves on through into the weekend. That's going to bring more rain for us. I'm thinking that tomorrow scattered showers, something kind of like today, but there might be some storms in the mix as mm -hmm. well. And then as we head towards Sunday, some will be dealing with rain, like a soaking rain throughout the day, while others, I'm picturing the system to pull some dry air in, mm -hmm. and it may shut down the rain in those areas completely. So mm -hmm. down the road, maybe 50 miles to your west, it might be raining all day where it just ends up being dry. There was another system that did that earlier this year that I remember was like, oh, Fargo ended up just staying dry all day, but it rained in some other places all day long. So mm -hmm. that may end up being Sunday. Because of that, and this time of year, all the fun outdoor activities, I wouldn't cancel your plans, but check the radar because you may be one of the people that's in the dry slot. Others might be mm -hmm. in, in the rain. Yeah. After Sunday, though, seeing some dry conditions throughout the work week, and okay. actually temps are going to rebound pretty nicely. I think we'll be back up in the mid-70s okay. for, the, for the rest of September. So pretty solid weather. And I was talking about the bus stops are going to be pretty mild, too. 50s, yeah, not, not 30s. Bad. Not bad for the no. end of September. No into Oct Oct the start of October looks really nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I did a little lawn care this past <laughs> week and a half, so I'm like been watering and I'm like, I just would like some nice rain. So yeah, personally, I would like some, but I also want to take our 10 month old out and take some pictures around some pumpkins too. Yeah, when it's sure. not pick, raining. Yeah, and pick out a good one. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pick out a good one, nice and plump. Yep. Good for carving. For sure. Is he he, he might be he might be a little young well, for you carving. Carve it. You carve it. I know, he I know. Watches, and then you take the pictures with him. How yeah. about you just dress him up like a pumpkin? I know, I know. We already have his Halloween costume and we're dressing up like him too. So. Oh, I love it. Okay. Yeah. Well stay tuned for pictures. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jared. Have Thanks, Jared. All right, well, today we're expecting to learn more about what led to a pretty big police presence just mm. off of Main Avenue in Fargo. Actually, Jared drove by this yesterday. Yeah. He was kind of our, our source for some good information on this, but we did send one of our WDAY crews over. Uh, they were on the scene around four yesterday afternoon. It appeared like it was at least started like a traffic stop, mm. but then there were several officers, several squads. Yeah. They were searching the vehicle. Uh, it actually was kind of blocking off an area near OK Tire on 22nd Street South, just off of Main Avenue. We do know both West Fargo and Fargo police officers responded to this, yeah. uh, even though it did end in Fargo, like I said, near OK Tire, West Fargo was there. So we're trying yeah. to figure out, did something happen or start in West Fargo? Um, and we do know West Fargo's taking the lead on this. We've been told uh, by West Fargo police, they're the ones that will be releasing more information as to exactly what was going on a little later this morning. Yeah. Uh, we'll update you once we get that information from them, of course. Uh, today, there will be a fundraiser for the Northwood Hatton volleyball players that were hurt in that deadly bus crash that happened last week. The tailgate supper event will be from 5.30 to 6.45 at Tyler Field tonight before Northwood's football game against Maple River. Uh, you are asked to make a free will donation, and then all the money that is raised will go to helping support the volleyball team and those impacted by that accident. Uh, this is a story we've been tracking for you for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And today, the West Fargo woman accused of killing a Marine while he was riding his motorcycle will make her first court appearance. 28-year-old mm -hmm. Takoya Saldana is charged with manslaughter and negligent homicide. We told you earlier this week those charges were upgraded. There was a warrant out for her arrest. Uh, she's going to be in court today. Uh, and we have learned a lot more about mm -hmm. this incident from the court documents. We kind yeah. of dug through those. Um, we found out that Police say she was doing 75 in a 40 on Main Avenue in West Fargo when they say she hit 31-year-old Thomas Fredette. They also say her blood alcohol content was 0 .07, but she also admitted that she had been using marijuana that day. Um, also inside the court documents, Saldana apparently told authorities that she believed Fredette was trying to commit suicide, but they're saying absolutely not, yeah. that the evidence does not show that. Uh, in fact, 
they say that the evidence shows that she did not slow down. She did not even try to stop when that accident happened. Mm -hmm. If convicted, she faces up to 10 years in prison. Yeah, and uh, if her BAC was a little bit higher, just a point, uh, she could actually have faced stronger charges that carry a 20-year sentence. So stay with us for that update. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Fargo Education Association and the school board are still working on contract negotiations, but they do have more meetings scheduled for the future here. The North Dakota Education and Fact-Finding Commission called a hearing to discuss negotiations at South High School last night. The two big main issues that are holding things up here are salary and then the non-teaching time during the elementary workday, essentially prep time. As far as money goes, the teachers union and school board are only six tenths of a percent off from each other. So they're hopeful that there's an agreement to be made there. A report from the Education and Fact-Finding Commission comes out on October 2nd. So after that comes out, the school board and the FEA will then meet up again and go through that report. Uh, right now, organizers are planning a protest at NDSU over the dismissal of a provost. They say that letting her go is part of a bigger issue on campus. That issue, they say, is the presence of women in administrative roles at NDSU or the lack thereof. Mm -hmm. The backlash comes after a campus-wide email went out to staff saying Dr. Zanine Billen Green will no longer be the vice provost for faculty affairs and equity. Uh, the position itself is being dissolved, so it won't be filled. Bill and Green worked on recruitment and faculty policy, we're learning. Uh, she also oversaw Title IX compliance. Uh, the protest is set for next Tuesday afternoon. It's going to be just outside the old main uh, building. Since we found out about that and our, our reporters were working on that, a statement did come out from NDSU President David Cook. In it, he apologized for how the change was communicated and says they are working to address concerns about women in leadership at NDSU. Anyone planning on attending the walk to end Alzheimer's tomorrow, that's gonna to be happening in West Fargo, listen up to this change. Uh, the venue has actually moved locations. Uh, the walk was originally supposed to happen out at the Essential Health Plaza at the lights, uh, but of course, due to the weather that Jared was just telling us about, the potential rain, the walk will now start at Liberty Middle School. Uh, times for the walk, though, have not changed. Um, registration will start at 9 a.m. tomorrow with the uh, opening ceremony at 10 o'clock in the morning. The walk itself starts at 1020. And I'm emceeing that event, so yeah. I'll be there tomorrow. And I think all of us really have been touched by someone, a loved one. Yeah. For me, it was my grandmother with Alzheimer's and dementia. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really a great walk to get together and a really nice program they put together yeah. in addition to walking in. No matter what happens with the weather, you can walk inside Liberty. That's so for sure. You'll Support stay nice and dry. Cause. Uh, today we have a great matchup for this week's game of the week, a homecoming rivalry right here in Fargo. The Fargo South Bruins will go head to head with the Fargo North Spartans. Kickoff is at six tonight. You can catch all of that mm -hmm. action on WDAY Extra. We also are going to be streaming on WDAY Plus. That game is the Fergus Falls Otters and the East Grand Forks Green Wave. That game starts at seven. And today on Hot Mike with Don Mizzo, he previews all that high school football action, including the game between North and South. Plus, Dom's dad is back to do his weekly NFL pickums. Will he pick the Vikings to get their first one of the season? Find out on Hot Mike with Dom Izzo from 9 to 11 this morning on WDIY Extra and Inform.com. And if you don't know, Dom's dad is a big deal. Like, yeah. people really love it yeah. when he comes. He's super He's nice. He's, great. What, he's from, like, the East Coast, and he comes yeah. and he, uh, he acts like he knows all of us because he watches. And <laughs> super awesome, yeah. super nice guy. guy. So, all right. Remember, right now is a great time to get your Inform.com subscription. Just go to Inform.com slash subscribe. 99 cents for your first three months. It's a great deal. And remember, join us throughout the rest of your Friday for our newscasts. Our next one's at 11 o'clock this morning, then 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. And we can do first news over the weekend with Bethany Newquist. And then we'll be back on Monday for first news from 5 to 7 in the morning. Have a great weekend, everyone. Stay dry.